I have here a Maximo animation of a character standing in idle. Let's download then an FBX format with the bare minimum size without skin included. In Unreal Engine, my character has already been added to my cinematic sequence. Let's import that Maximo animation that we just downloaded. Mesh Skeleton is required since I downloaded it without skin. I have one here from a previous Maximo import that has a skeleton mesh. These are my default import settings. Before the next step, take note of your character's body skeleton mesh name and its location here. Just hover and read what pops up. Since UE 5.4, we can retarget the animation to our character skeleton mesh very easily. For the target, we select the character body mesh skeleton noted earlier. Notice the subfolder location of my meta human target skeleton mesh in the hover info. Select the retargeted animation or double click to preview. Then save it by exporting to a content subfolder. Don't forget to close the retarget window. You may delete the imported Maximo animation to avoid clutter. Let's go to the character's body track and add the retargeted animation. It will only take effect if we disable or delete the auto added metahuman control rig track. To keep the character from snapping back to its non animated pause, Set the animation clip end to keep state. One way to extend the animation clip is by reducing its speed here.
Another way is to pull the end to extend it in animation loop. If your animation does not loop continuously, watch my other tutorial on how to loop animation seamlessly linked in the description of this video. I hope you were able to follow my tutorial. I'm Miss Anderson, guest tutor for Pixel Splasher. See you next time.